These are 10 super useful must know features if you're using Apple Maps. Apple Maps usually get a bad rap compared to Google Maps, but Apple has been slowly improving them. And honestly, these features might convince you to make Apple Maps your default navigation app on your iPhone. Hi, my name is Anjana and let's get started. This is hands down my favorite Apple Maps features. If you use Apple CarPlay in your car, when you park your car and walk away, Apple Maps will remember where you parked your car automatically. Next time, when you open your maps, your parked location will show up under Siri suggestions. No more searching for parked car in a huge parking lot. Make sure you go to Settings, Apps, Maps and enable Show Parked Location Settings. Here's a pro tip. You can even ask Siri to remember the parked car location. Just invoke Siri and say, remember, I parked my car here. Siri will remember it. And when it's time, just ask Siri, where did I park my car? It will navigate you straight to your car and it's such a time saver. Apple Maps has this wonderful feature of saving custom notes to a certain place. These notes can come in handy when you want to get more information about it. For example, this is a new restaurant our friend suggested near our home. I can save it to a guide to remember it. But they also mention that their mocktails are a must try, especially their summer orange mango drink. But their portion size is too small and I need to order extra. Apple Maps has a way of saving these notes to a place. To do this, I will tap on the place, tap on these three dots and then I'll tap add a note. Here I can add whatever note I want about this place. Once saved, it's there for me anytime I visit the place. It's so personal to me and a great way to note down important information about a place. Next time, do try it out. Did you know that you can also book an Uber or Lyft ride straight from Apple Maps? After you search for a destination, tap on driving direction. Here, do you see this rideshare icon? Tap on it to see all the rideshare options available to this place. You can book the ride without switching between apps and it even shows you estimated fare and arrival times. It's super handy when you are in a hurry or don't want to retype the address in another app. Did you know Apple Maps is available on Android phones and even in Windows PCs through web? That's right, Apple has been bringing Apple Maps to the web. You can visit maps.apple.com on a Windows PC or Android phone and it'll open up Apple Maps. Now, it's still in beta, which means you can't sign in or save places to guides, but you can look up places, get driving directions, look up websites, view timings, and a lot more. Apple is going to bring more features just like Google Maps. If you use Windows PCs and need Apple Maps on web, now you have it. You can drop a pin on any location, even places with no address, like a picnic spot, a secret beach, or a meter point in a huge park. Just press and hold on the map and then the pin will appear. From there, you can tap and share and send that location via iMessage, WhatsApp, or even AirDrop. These features make Apple Maps feel more personal and useful whether you're planning your next trip, remembering something for later, or helping a friend find you without needing a street address. Once you start using Maps this way, it becomes more than just navigation, it becomes your location memory bank. You can now add multiple stops to your trip, up to 15. Just start navigation, swipe up, tap add stop. Add as many as you need, your kid's school, gas station, grocery store, mall, coffee shop, and Apple Maps will route them all in one go. You can even rearrange the order of your stops like this to save time or avoid traffic. One pro tip here, did you know that you can share your full trip with someone? When you tap share ETA and share it with someone, your contact will see your entire multi-stop route and get live updates as you move from one location to the next. It's so helpful if you're coordinating errands with a partner or you're just letting someone know when to expect you. Once you have created the route, you can easily revisit it later. 
Apple Maps automatically saves recent trips or you can manually save stops to a custom guide like weekly errands or trip to Napa Valley. That brings me to the next tip, create and use guides to save places. If you constantly find yourself discovering cool places and thinking, I need to remember this, then guides in Apple Maps are going to be your new favorite feature. A guide is basically a collection of saved places that you can organize them into custom lists. Think of it like making a travel list, a restaurant bucket list, or even a list of parks that you want to visit with your family. Instead of storing random screenshots or dropping pins that you will forget about, you can keep everything neat and easy to access all within Apple Maps. For example, I have created a guide called Seattle Eats for all the food spots I want to try. I also have one called Weekend Getaways for short road trips and also another one called Family Fun with the places to take my daughter to. The best part is you can open any guide and see all the saved places visually on a map and also you can share it with your friends. To create a guide, tap on any place in Apple Maps Tap the three dot and select save to guide. Choose an existing guide or tap new guide to create a fresh one. Name it whatever you want like date night spots or Paris 2026. Now you can keep adding to your guide over time almost like building a personalized travel or food list. You can also share your guides with your friends or family which is perfect for planning group trips or recommending places. And if it's a guide that you keep using often, like grocery store or go to coffee shops, you can even pin it to your home screen for quick access. It's honestly one of the most underrated feature in Apple Maps. And once you start using it, it feels like having your own curated guidebook tailored just for your life and your taste. Apple Maps gives you more than just one way to view your surroundings and switching between these views can actually make a big difference depending on what you're trying to do. By default, the map is set to driving view which is great for everyday navigation. It's clean, loads quickly and shows clear road layouts and major landmarks. Perfect for daily driving. It even shows busy streets on the map. But there are two more views worth exploring transit and satellite and they are much more useful than they seem at first. If you rely on public transportation, the transit view is a game changer, showing nearby bus stops, metro lines, train stations and even real-time arrival information in supported cities. Perfect for commuting or exploring without a car. And my personal favorite for trip planning satellite view. It gives you a high-res photo-based map so you can preview what restaurants, parks or neighborhoods actually look like. It's super handy for scenic drives, rural areas or just getting a real feel for a place before you go. I know Google Maps satellite view is much more updated than Apple Maps but for urban areas Apple Maps satellite view is super high quality and I prefer it over Google Maps. I mean look at the comparison Apple Maps versus Google Maps here. Apple Maps is so good looking. To switch views tap the map layer icon in the top right corner choose standard, transit or satellite. You can also turn on overlays like traffic, air quality or weather depending on your needs. And yes, satellite view also works during navigation. So you get the extra visual clarity while driving. It's especially helpful if you're navigating winding roads, parks or tourist areas that don't have obvious signage. It's a small change most people ignore, but once you start switching views based on what you're doing, you will get way more context and confidence while using maps. If you're using Apple CarPlay, then you're probably already using Apple Maps on your car screen. But what you may not know is that Apple Maps in CarPlay has a few smart tricks that makes driving easier, safer and more organized. First, it gives you real-time traffic and lane guidance right on the dashboard. So when you're coming up to a complex intersection or freeway split, it will actually show you which lane to stay in to avoid last minute confusion. That's a lifesaver in busy cities or unfamiliar areas. 
Another underrated feature is Siri integration. You can simply say, hey Siri, get directions to the nearest gas station or take me home. The maps will start navigating without needing to touch the screen. You can also share your ETA straight from your CarPlay, just like on the phone. Once navigation is active, just tap on the screen, choose Share ETA and send it to your partner or friend. They'll get live updates, which is super helpful if you're running late or on a long drive. And here's something most people don't realize. Apple Maps in CarPlay adjust the interface based on what you're doing. For example, if you are in a city, it'll zoom in for better street level detail. But if you're in a freeway, it zooms out so you get a wider view of the route. And when you're stopped, it highlights nearby services like gas, food or parking. If you have saved favorites on your iPhone like home, work or your favorite coffee shop, they show up in CarPlay too. So you can start navigation with just one tap. And the best part, it's distraction free. CarPlay is designed to reduce taps and keep your eyes on the road. Apple Maps in CarPlay gives you the information you need when you need it without overwhelming you. If you have only been using CarPlay for basic directions, try digging into these features for your next drive. You will definitely notice the difference. When you tap a location or drop a pin in a supported area, you might see a binocular icon appear. Tap it. Now you will get a full street level view of that location. Great for checking out what a place actually looks like before heading there. Here's the thing. I find the street view of Apple Maps to be way more high quality than Google Maps street view. It's high risk, much smoother to navigate and overall a much nicer UI than Google Street View. And yes, Google has mapped even more places on Street View, but if your location has been mapped by Apple Lookaround, I'd actually prefer Apple Lookaround over Google Street View. And there you go. Apple Maps is way more powerful than it looks like at first glance. If you have been defaulting to Google Maps without even giving these features a shot, now might be the time to take Apple Maps seriously. It's cleaner, more integrated with the iPhone. And once you set it up your way, it just works. If you found this video helpful, give the video a thumbs up and let me know in the comments which tip was your favorite or which one you're trying out today. And don't forget to subscribe for more iPhone and productivity tips like this. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.